This storied house has seen some of the game's greats. Boz, Bradford, Peterson, and Stoops. Welcome, everyone, to Norman, Oklahoma, and the Palace on the Prairie, home to the Oklahoma Sooners. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from the AAC, the Tulane Greenway, taking on the 14th ranked team in the land, the Oklahoma Sooners. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Tulane will kick it off to get this game underway. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Sooners' offense is on the field for the first time today. And there he is. When you build a tight end, you build one just like this, especially with those reliable mitts, Jesse. Yeah, Reese, he makes big plays in big games. Watch for him on third down in the red zone. He has a chance to leave an impact in this. The expressway is wide open. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. The Sooners will hustle to the line. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll leave it with him. Creates a little room. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. And you race it to the house. Touchdown, Oklahoma! The Sooner Schooner doesn't have a tight turning radius, but it can rev up the Oklahoma crowd, David. Man, get them started, get them going early, test the limits, get in the end zone, get these people going bananas just safely. You know, go bananas, go crazy, but, you know, don't do too much and don't, you know, put all over your seats. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a thrilling 50-yard run for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there getting set. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Tulane Green Wave offense will have its first chance to go on the attack. Both of these defenses, David, anchored by star middle backers. I mean, they're just stars right in the middle of the defense. You'll see them go sideline to sideline, and they will make plays all over the field. Yeah, these guys are the heart and souls of their defense. They're the leaders. Everybody looks up to them. They're constantly making plays. Man, it's so important when you play QB. I got to know when to put some air on it, and I got to know when to rocket that thing in there. Work in the middle of the field. He knew he needed the rocket. Threw it in there. Great job. Great catch. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. They'll give it to the back. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Thompson wants to throw. He'll take a deep shot here. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Well, that's just a great play by the defender and great timing. It was the hit that forced that incompletion. Here comes 
this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They go to the draw. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened. Tulane forced to send out the punt unit, getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Fair catch called for and made. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well, Palmer. They executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. And the Sooners moving quickly to the line. Reverse. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. It's so easy to let your eyes lie to you, to see the ball kind of go the other way. What's my assignment? My assignment is to make sure I contain on the backside. Great job by the defense, not getting fooled, playing their assignment, making the play. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Makes the grab over the middle. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. He'll put the tight end in motion. Lost to throw on first down off the play fake. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. You know, one of the tricky parts with play action for a quarterback is that when you turn your back to the defense to sell the play fake, you have no idea what's going on behind you. You don't know what the coverage has become, and you don't know which D linemen have won their one-on-ones. The worst thing is you turn around after the play fake, and bam, that defender's right in your face. Not a lot of productivity on that last play. They'll try it again on second and long from the 23. Looking to throw, it's Arnold. Fires to the big fella. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? Well, you hear all the time that the tight end's the QB's best friend. You saw a perfect example of it on that last play, right? Second down, you need to pick up some positive yards to keep this third down manageable. Really nice job of executing that. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. Trying to get to it. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Solid work and execution there. They'll have a first down as they mark it at the 40. He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush, and you know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield, but he sees an opening, and if he sees an opening, he's got the ability to go get it and get a first down. The Sooners are on the move. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. The Sooners come to the line in the hurry up. Hand off from the shotgun. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Also, And you got to focus, right? The first thing you're looking at as a defensive lineman, the first thing you understand is the ball starts with a snap count. I, I have to line up, see the ball. When the ball moves, I... Let's it fly deep downfield. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown Sooners! 
Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines and talk about what just happened because that was an absolute busted coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They put together an 81-yard drive. And the finisher coming courtesy of that touchdown toss from 45 yards out. Just about set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Tulane offense headed back onto the field. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Tim Ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Defense were always trying to get some tips. You know, break on the football, get a tip, get it up in the air. Nice job by the player breaking on the football and forcing the incompletion. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Back to pass. It's Thompson. Got his man on the right. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. You know, lots of times these slot receivers, they're not the biggest guys in the world, but they're really good at finding the open spaces in the middle of the field. And you saw that guy attack the defense in the perfect spot, making life easy for his QB. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man. That one could really put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. He'll just keep slinging it. Caught behind the line. It's Hughes. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. I want to make sure I know where the playmakers are. And I can't let guys like this guy slip out of the backfield and make big plays against me. Good job being aware that they can throw the ball to the running back. Closing space and getting that fast dude on the ground. Gonna run it. It's Hughes. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. He'll try to do it himself. Nice run there to keep things moving before they force him out of bounds. You know, you hear the term nickel so much. Most people stay in nickel most of the time because of all the speed in college football, the running quarterback, and you see why it pays dividends. More speed on the field than the QB does take off to go get him on the ground and force a fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Now the Oklahoma offense will go back to work. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. And it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. And the Sooners are in the hurry up. Leaves it with the back. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Oh. 
They go right back to him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, he was trying to do it all by himself. At the end of the day, it's a tackle for the loss. Uh, I mean, the number of tackles he broke at some point, somebody's got to get blocked to help the guy out a little bit. Man, the defense was like a bunch of zombies on that last play. They just would not stop chasing that ball carry. A lot of urgency for this offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. Now, fourth down. The Sooners will call on their punt team. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play, just outside the 20. Tulane has it back in the offense, coming out to go on the attack. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Trying to impose their will with the run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And he tried to do all he could. He broke one tackle, but my goodness, guys were hitting him left and right in the backfield. This is a staple for any good defensive coordinator. They want their guys to swarm to the football to gang tackle. If one guy misses, another one's there. No doubt. And the staple for the offensive coordinator and the offensive line coaches, block those guys. Don't watch them tackle our guys. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. Tulane forced to send out the punt unit. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He'll call for the fair catch here. We reach the quarter break with Oklahoma on top. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. Now to see if they can answer this early blitz here in the second quarter. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. They wanted to set the tone, strike quickly. Jesse, they've done exactly that up to touchdown. And this quarterback has been dialed in, too. He's been so good reading coverage, going to where the open guy is with the football. And they've been up and down the field, David, so far. And this defense needs to make something happen right now. Uh, you've already given up a couple touchdowns. Your offense has got nothing going. Still early in the game. Get a stop. Create some momentum for your offense. Out of the gun, the running back has it. At the 35, he's open. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Picks up 15 yards on the play and an important first down. A great Oklahoma running attack will bring a tear to the Boomer Sooner Nation eye thinking of guys like Billy Sims. And where it all started was always the ground game and the toughness, and you never question that. In Oklahoma, they got to get to that. They got to be that. They got to live that. But they really want to build on what they used to be and bring that tradition and build some of that tradition in the SEC. One of the things I love about this offense, Reese, is they have tons of speed. They like to try to get the ball going east-west. That time, they generate a huge play going to the right side. And the defense either not fast enough to fit or got knocked out of the fit. Yeah, they got to do a better job containing that as this game goes on. They got to funnel the football back to the middle of the field. From the gun, the running back has it. Works his way ahead for about three. It's down at the eight. A 
operating in the red zone here on second down. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. I didn't bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, the short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Back to pass. It's Arnold. Touchdown, Oklahoma! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Takes the handoff. It's Hughes. That hole closed quickly a pickup of one to the 15. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. A little screen to the running back. This guy just oozes toughness when he runs, bangs his way to the 20. And this offense, I think, will do a good job in this game divvying up the football and distributing it to different guys in the passing game. It won't just be receivers. It's not going to be tight ends. This running back, he's a weapon, too, after he catches it. You saw it right there. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. Thompson to throw. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. The run from the shotgun. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Listen, you've you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They'll get it to the 48, no need to measure it to first down. This is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and 10. The give to the tailback. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and forced a tackle for a loss. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. They've got him looking run, but they're going to throw it. He lobs one high down the left side. And the incomplete pass taking a shot on second down, and they'll be left with a third down. 
you see it in football all the time, right? I get a matchup on the outside. You want to try to play man coverage? I'm going to let my wide receiver try to go up and make a play. A lot of times the wide receiver wins. Not this time. Thompson wants to throw. But a little time lets it go. Fires to the big fella. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. And I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. The ball hits at the five, and it'll go into the end zone for a touchback. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. Pulled it, finds his man on the left. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. This is a very tough slot receiver to cover if you're a linebacker because of how quick and how shifty he is. You never seem to know which way he's going, and he always seems to create an open space for his QB. Second down coming up. Running back searching for a hole. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. The give on the inside. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. At the 27, now a fourth down. The Sooners will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming here as he signals for the bear catch and makes it right around the 30-yard line. The Tulane offense headed back onto the field. Give to the running back. They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Give to the back. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. Thompson to throw. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Love the physicality of the secondary on defense. That defender got to the football, was able to separate the receiver from the ball, and did it legally. Beautiful job. After the misfire, it's second down. He's looking to throw. They're setting up the screen. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Love the execution there on the screen. The running back shows pass protect, pass protect. Last second turns around, so he's able to get the ball. The D linemen have already run past him. Now he can turn up field for a big gainer. Four punts already, and they've got to convert here to avoid a fifth. They'll go with a direct snap. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. 
Now the play fake. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Thompson wants to throw. He hurls one deep down the left side. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. Tulane forced to send out the punt unit. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. The Sooner offense returns to the field. To the air on first down. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Well, they pick up the first down there on the screen. I love the offensive line there, allowing the pass rush to get way up the field. They completely baited their guys, made them think that they got beaten, that they were going to get the sack, and then they sneak the running back screen right in behind them and pick up the first down. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And that's a really good example of why offensive coordinators script plays. You know the down and distance, and you know which routes can get you to the stick. So there's no wasted time. That coordinator got the play in early to his quarterback, knowing that his players were going to be able to execute. Gets it out fast. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. This offense is clicking. Everything working together really well. Coordinator, quarterback, offensive line. Good rhythm, good flow. Defense is going to have to find something to kind of mess up this timing they got going on. And the Sooners have it with a first and ten. He wants to throw. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. Let's see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 48. To the air, it's Arnold. Caught. You see this more and more in college football. Motion the running back out of the backfield. What am I looking for? I'm looking to see if it's man coverage. Does a linebacker go and chase him? And if he does, guess what I get to do? Take advantage of my matchup. I like my speed better than yours the heat as he lets it go and they can't hook up on the big play and that brings up a fourth down this defense is going to have to make some adjustments here at halftime because they have been taken advantage of deep down the field in the passing game they've already given up two td passes that was almost number three and we're only in the first half the sooners send out the punt unit And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. Tulane has it back in the offense, coming out to go on the attack. He'll come out throwing on first down. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He wants to pass it on second down. Makes the catch. It's Brown. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They turn to the passing game on third and short. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Really 
good defense. You know, you're trying to stay as close as you can to all these targets, and most importantly, those open field tackles and getting them on the ground as soon as they catch it. That's a major deal for defenses, and that was a good example there of it. Thompson to throw. Can't make the connection in. Complete pass, and one second remains. Quarterbacks need time when they're in the pocket to complete throws. That QB had no shot after taking that hit. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Let's it fly on the move. And the ball is intercepted. And he delivers the blow, and he's still running. And he'll be brought down, and that's how we'll end the first half. Played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a lively one from Norman so far. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's head back to Oklahoma and Memorial Stadium. All lined up and ready to go for a great second half ahead. He'll start the return inside his spot. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Tulane offense headed back onto the field. They start this third quarter in a big hole, and they have to start climbing out right now. And they're going to have to be really aggressive. It's like this offense, when I'm playing from behind, every possession means so much more. And if you look the other side, the defense, they haven't given much resistance. Yeah, nothing has gone their way in the first half offensively. And you know now, based on how this defense is playing with their confidence, that you are going to be challenged on every single snap. So buckle up, get your mind right, and get ready to come back in this game. Ran to that daylight to pick up six to the 22. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there that are the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. Keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you look up and you might break one of those after you got them a little bit tired. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls in. Tulane forced to send out the punt unit. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Here come the Sooners ready to go on offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one, Dave. To me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. On the run, it's Acha. Just willed his way for a couple rounds in 35. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Dropping back, it's Arnold. He makes the connection. And he was knocked down immediately short of the line to gain. They'll have to make a decision here. 
offense. Just not able to shake enough defenders and comes up a little bit short. And I think a lot of times on third down, Reese, you bet on your guy. When you're an offensive guy, you say, okay, he's going to break a tackle. He's going to get north and south and somehow get the first down. Nice tackling by the defense, understanding where they had to get to and forcing the fourth down. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. Tulane has it back in the offense coming out to go on the attack. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Keeps it on the bootleg. He finds a soft spot in the middle. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And that's why they got to keep running the football, man, because play action is going to be a big part of this game plan. You've got to get this tight end over the middle of the field vertically and give him an opportunity because you just saw how dangerous he is after the catch. The offense lines up at the 41 with a first and 10. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score touchdowns. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You can tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. Throws to the wideout. Complete downfield. Gets away from one. Find some space. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which First way first that's going to go. Look at the best, best defense. defense. You just can't hit the quarterback like that. The defender got caught red-handed. From the gun, running back gets to give. Works his way ahead for about three. It's down at the eight. At the eight-yard line. Brings up second down. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Going with the ground game left. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Thompson wants to throw. And they will score! Touchdown, Tulane! Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. More drives like this is what's needed. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And after the extra point, they're now down 21 to 7. So the final tally on that drive will be 31 yards. And they close the deal with the seven yarder for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside the 10, here he comes. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. 
Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. The Sooners in the hurry up. From the gun, running back on the move. Still on his feet at the 45. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. Well, that's why this running game can be so dynamic. This guy is special when he has the football in his hands. He can make people miss, he can run with power, and he also has speed. You saw it on that last play. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Used to play fake, now to throw. Looking deep down the right side. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense. First and goal from the seven. Really nice timing on that throw. Quarterback had to hold it, allow his receiver to work his route, but he threw it at the perfect moment so that he was able to make the catch inbounds right on the sideline. They ripped off a huge chunk, and now a little chunk is needed to pay it off. A first down run in the red zone. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. See if they can get it done on second and goal. Into the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown Sooner. You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. PAT unit on the field. And they knock through the extra point, and they're up 28 to 7. A very efficient five way scoring drive. And they cap the drive with a four yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? Nothing wrong with the touchback, and they wish they had one right now, but he stopped at the nine-yard line. From the shotgun, the inside give. Not much there. He gets one to the 11. Second down, coming up. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Thompson to throw. Makes his connection. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win. Short, and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football that are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. From the gun on third down. Find his big tight end. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. 
And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Excellent throw by the quarterback. Found the window between the zones and then delivered the ball on time. This Tulane offense has a great drive going. The give to the single back. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. He's down at the 36. Brings up second down. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Off play action. Now he's going to break the pocket. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. And this offensive line's got to do a better job. Man, you've got to protect your quarterback. Listen, this offense is not playing great. they got to somehow find a way to start to get something together here in the second half. This offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Got it behind the line. It's Preston. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. You got to love that. On defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch, gave it the completion. What do you do? You set up fourth and long, you're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Bringing it back, it's Bowen. Makes the tackle really strong, disciplined job, and now we have one period to play. We reach the quarter break with Oklahoma on top. They built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. Movement here from the tight end. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll go to the counter play. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. There's just so much for this defense to think about. They've had strong side runs thrown at them. Now the counter. They know that this offense can work in the play action off of all these base runs, too. So much offensive volume this defense needs to worry about at this point in the game. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. And the Sooners line up to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Fair catch was called for, but there is a flag on the play, and we'll have to sort it out. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Roughing the Roughing kicker. kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The give out of the gun. Can't get him to the ground. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. And that running back essentially just did everything right. Not only did he rip off a nine-yard run with the lead late in the game, but he stayed in bounds. He had the awareness that if I stay in bounds, the clock keeps running, and it increases our chances of winning this game. The RPO fired complete to the left. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Defense just hasn't had an answer for this guy. He has been on point. This is about as good as I've seen him play at the quarterback position. And here in the fourth quarter with a big lead, he's still taking shots. The Sooners have it with a first and ten. 
He'll try the left side. Got some room, head to the goal line. Touchdown, Oklahoma! And the route is on. And the running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You can tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they pushed the lead out a little further. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And it was capped off with an impressive 18-yard touchdown run. They're lining up to boot it away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Barnes. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out in the end zone, he'll be stopped at the 15. The Tulane offense headed back onto the field. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game playing all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but... They're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. Oh, man, did he turn that one loose and fired it into the teeth of the zone. And you know as a quarterback, Reese, when you're throwing it to the perimeter of the field on these curl routes, you've got to have some heat. You've got to have arm talent to get that ball out quickly into the hands of your receiver. He'll off one deep down the left side. And that ball is hauled in inside the 35. Let's go. We got some life. We, we made a big play. Something to build off of. We need a lot of points, and we need them quickly. Time's running out. We're trailing big in this ballgame. They might be thinking back-to-back -back big plays after that last one. First and 10 from the 32. They want to just keep throwing it. And those two couldn't make the connection. It's an incomplete pass. You see an incompletion there. I think a big reason why this team is in such a hole right now in the fourth quarter is they have just not been able to find the explosive plays throwing the ball. And you got to wonder at this point, is it too little too late? The incomplete pass leaves them with second down. Thompson wants to throw. Gets it out quickly. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. On first down from the 13-yard line. From the gun, the ground game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And it's a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess. Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off. Great job getting in the backfield, making the play. After that last loss, it's second and 12. They'll go right back to the run. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. And I can't tell you how much I love seeing corners being willing to come up and tackle. That is so huge for a defense. You can't O-lay blocks and create space. You can't just hang out on the outside. You got to go set that edge. And conversely, I can't tell you how much I hate it when receivers don't want to block. You got to do a better job on the perimeter. It's not going to be enough in this offense just to catch passes. You got to go execute your assignment. That corner should have been blocked and they should have gotten a bigger gain on that outside run. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. 
They'll run it on first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Nice job by the defense. First and goal situation. You can expect run a lot of the times. They were physical, got in the backfield, stuffed the run. And lost ground on first down. Now second and goal from the five. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. And they've moved their way down, but still they need two more yards. Can they bang it in? Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. Yeah, and listen, that, that is awesome to see the guys continue to fight, continue to keep competing, because this game is over. Like, we don't need to fool y'all. We're not trying to get y'all to stick around and, and, and improve ratings. Like, the game's over, but you're continuing to fight. You powered in for the touchdown, and show your kids that we're going to always fight no matter what the score is. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good. They still trail 35-14. So a drive there of 85 yards and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Maybe feeling a little better about things. Still a 21-point game as they're set to kick it off. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Hand off from the gun. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300 plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad. You tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Shakes off the defender. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. The Sooners will bring the punt team onto the field. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. Tulane has it back in the offense, coming out to go on the attack. Going up top on first down. Makes the grab. It's Hughes. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. Thompson to throw. He's got his man. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. They're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first down. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. He's going to look for a man on third and short. And the pass is intercepted. He'll try to take it back. Touchdown Sooner! What a great play by the defense and paying it off with the interception return. What a play.
play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Tulane offense headed back onto the field. Catch in the middle. It's Williams. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Looking to scramble. He'll pull it down. Makes the tackle at the 30 after he picked up 10. You can tell this is a pass play. He has his eyes down the field. He's looking to throw the football. But how nice is it when you got a guy like this that can scramble and go get you a first down? It's just really hard to stop from a defensive perspective. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. It'll be first and 10 from the 30. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the tight end. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. And I know this football game is over, but we got to keep fighting. We got to keep finding something, some kind of rhythm in this offense, something we can hang our hat on that we do really, really well. Listen, the intermediate passing game like this has taken over college football, short to intermediate. So if they can find some of this, it'll help their offense moving forward. Grabbed over the middle. It's Preston. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. And the defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. Here comes Tulane after picking up the first down. Using the quick game. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. And this offense is going to have to find more explosive plays. And it's, it's, it can't just rely on the dink and dunk. It's going to have to find itself and score more points. Listen, they got beat up today. But moving on in the future, they've got some good pieces. they got to find a way to fit them together, create some explosive plays on this offense, because today they've been lacking. Just a short pass to the tight end. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. And this game is obviously out of hand. Yeah, but I think the fans would argue, too, at this point, like, all right, well, let's not throw check downs, right? Let's throw some deep balls and continue to open up this offense and keep fighting. I think that's what you want to see. You want to see your squad not quit. Keep fighting until the very end of the football game. Thompson wants to throw. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game today. On fourth down, looking for the completion. Snagged in the middle, it's Preston. He will not pick up the first down. The desperation play, and that one might have sealed their fate. The inside handoff. And that's a very productive first down play of bringing up second and three. In situations like this, offensively, when you got the lead in the fourth quarter, when you got to run the ball, you go back to the runs that you have the most confidence in, that you can execute in your sleep, and they do it right there, ripping off seven yards.